Hello. Today we will review how to edit a mock once it has been published on your Rebrickable profile. On the profile page, you can see your most popular mocks. Once you have several, you won't be able to see them all here. To see all your mocks, you can go up to the top ribbon. We do have one example to work with today in Microscale Lighthouse, so we will click on this mock to go to that page, and that is where we can work directly with this specific mock. You should see all of the information you had entered when you first submitted your mock. The details, inventory, are the two that you set up as a user. The second tab is comments from other rubricable users. The fourth tab is the buy parts option, which can be used to purchase the parts depending on your preferences that you would need based on what is left out of the inventory. And remember, when you're looking at inventories, you do have some display options to highlight missing pieces and pieces you already own. Here you can see that most of the sand green is missing and some of the other parts as well. And as a percentage, there are 65.3% of the parts in the example collections here. After that, there is a tab for photos as well. Again, this is submitted from other users of Rebrickable once they have constructed your mock and want to share a picture of it. The last tab is the admin tab, and this is where you can go in and edit some of the information from your original setup. If you want to change the main mock image, you can do that here. Adding a new photo will change this default picture. Below that, you can change the mock name, the theme. You can extend your description. If, especially if you had a short description before it was approved, you can come back here now and add other links. Uh, additional pictures can be embedded here, and a YouTube video can be linked here, and that will show up as a thumbnail. To add uh, pictures in a slideshow that will rotate through in the main area here, you can add a BrickSafe gallery. In short, BrickSafe is a separate website that contains uh, folders and subfolders of other pictures you can upload to Rubricable and create these slideshows. So once you have that folder set up, you're going to want to grab this link. Then you can paste that in here. Once you refresh the page and save your changes, this will start showing up as a slideshow for your mock images. Below that, you can change the instruction setups as well. If you want to change your mind and start selling the instructions instead of having it set up as free. And of course, if you have the opportunity to make PDF instructions from a studio file or photo sequence, you can add those and create additional instruction files. Even though you may have published your mock already, if you continue to refine instructions or uh, want to update some changes, that is pretty easy to do through this admin tab here. If you are done with your mock, decide you don't want it on Rickable anymore, you can deactivate it here and it will be invisible to the other users of the site. We'll save our changes. One other detail that you can change from this page is tags. It's as simple as clicking the add tag button and adding whatever tags you'd like. And those will show up below the other tabs. These tags are clickable and will take you to other mocks that have been tagged. There's also a small number that shows how many other items have that tag in the database. If we refresh, we should see the slideshow start to work. This pulls the pictures from BrickSafe and puts them in a gallery on the main image of your mock. All of this becomes available once your mock has been approved by the admins and is live on the site.